for all you history people out there, do you think this is a return to normalcy for me? Or is this going back to me suffering? Hi friends, my name is Feng Shui today and I, I haven't done this in a while. Were you the last thing I made? Probably. Here's Michael. He's my support group today. He's my support bee, my emotional support pet because we're gonna need it today. I am going back to New York in two days, but before I go back, I wanted to do at least one video that was about pixels, specifically wooden blocks. I had this idea a long time ago to make a Minecraft cat because my mom wouldn't let me get a real cat. And to this day, I'm still not allowed to have a real cat, even though I have my own apartment. As of right now, it's not, it's not a smart economic investment or an emotional investment because I don't have much room in the apartment. So that might be a next year thing. Until then, I need a cat. I used to have a cat around eight years ago because my sister owned it. Its name was Diesel. It was a tuxedo cat. Here's what he looks like. He's adorable. And then she snatched him away to where she lives now. So I haven't seen him in a while. And I just want a pet. So we're gonna make a pet. So you only need this many blocks, is what I wish I would say. You need this much. In front of me right now is a bag of 500 and a bag of 100 3 4 inch wooden blocks because I actually took the time to make a Minecraft block. I build craft this thing. I first made it in creative mode and then I turned into survival mode. I designed the Minecraft black cat because I figured that looked the most like Diesel. And we came to the total of 551 blocks. Unfortunately, they don't sell 551 blocks on Amazon, so there's only packs of 500 and 100. And I wanted to choose 3 4 inch because one inch looks like this. This bee is already pretty big and the cat is not even this wide. And based on how many blocks it took, I'm pretty sure this will look around the average size of an actual cat. We don't know yet, we'll see. Maybe I have an enormous cat, who cares? Oh, baby, oh, it's happening. Now, one thing that I'm not gonna tolerate this episode of Frederick's Art Camp is backseat driving. I've already done this twice. I've made a Minecraft Rose and a Minecraft Bee, and both times people criticize me on the way I do this. So while I start gluing stuff, let me debunk this for you. The first comment I get is, why don't you use spray paint. Look, you, I'm sorry, tell me where you're gonna find the very different colors of yellow and brown for spray paint. You're telling me you have all these colors of spray paint? It's not a thing. And if it is a thing, great, but not at my Michaels. Another question I get is why are you painting the blocks first instead of just gluing it together like I am now? Those are for rare occasions. The black cat is literally all black, so I don't have to worry about different shades of black, but I might do that just because I want it to look a little bit more pixely, because I feel like painting it all black is that's too easy for me. You need to suffer more, Frederick. Masochism at its finest. So for the Minecraft Rose, I first painted everything that I needed and then glued it together. That way, I wouldn't get any obscurities when I'm painting. If you have a very steady hand and you're very precise, you can just glue this together first and then paint it. But if you have shaky hands like me and also a tendency to be impatient, you will end up with the most unstraight lines that God has ever seen. To some people, maybe it's still straight, but to me, it's not straight. I see the difference and I'm forever in pain because of that. Basically, if you want it to look extremely perfect, paint it beforehand. If you don't really care about that, glue it first. But Frederick, why did you buy cubes? Why not just buy a wooden plank? The same argument, it's not gonna be perfect. The wooden blocks have been carved out for me so that they actually are pixels. Knowing me, I'm going to measure them wrong. And that's not fun. Who wants to do a wooden plank? So I'm currently making the tail. And if you saw in the footage, I made it so the cat is sitting down because I thought when it's just standing up and resting, that's not what a cat would do if it's just always here. The problem is when a cat sits down in Minecraft, it has a diagonal body. I can't do that in real life. I can't make a perfect diagonal block unless I want to carve this out, which I don't feel like. So I ended up staggering the body. So it, it looks like stairs basically, but it, it looks okay in the end. Working on the tail right now. We're gonna start from the bottom to the top. I also don't have sandpaper. You would think that my dad, an engineer, and me <laughs> in engineering school would have sandpaper in a household like this. Nope, but I would suggest having a big sandpaper thing so you could make everything even. How long did that take? Oh my God, we're gonna be here for days. Let me know. Do you like dogs or cats more? I know a lot of people are so against cats and let me just say this. I think cats are a superior pet an animal in general, just because you need to earn their respect. In my opinion, a dog will love you endlessly. That's why we love them so much, they're our best friend. But a cat, mm -mm, they're petty. You need to give them space, you need to give them love, and they will love you when they want to. So I feel like it's more work, because then you get to know you actually earn their respect. Because if you don't, they will hate you for eternity. <laughs> Which is what Diesel did because I, I was a stupid kid and I would chase him around when he didn't want to be chased around. And that's why I still have some claw marks 
as scars. That's just them loving you back. And I'm just saying, you can do this with any type of cat. It can be any color you want. I'm just choosing to do black because it's it's the least amount of colors I wanna work with. Sorry, I'm copying out, I'm sorry. But once I have the template down, because I'm currently eyeballing it, silly old me didn't bother making a copy of the Minecraft world and already destroyed the entire build. So I can't reference how many blocks it was. So I'm looking at the screenshot and just eyeballing that this is how much the tail is. Well, that's a good start to my day. That's a good thing you want to hear, right? You don't have the exact measurements for a build. Imagine trying to build a skyscraper and you just say, I'm going to eyeball it from a screenshot. Yes, you'll definitely get that job. Hopefully I've made an entire template for you to look at and it's going to be right here. Also, you need a very small amount of glue. One dollop is already too much. So I'm literally wiping it off each time on another block. I did have a larger bottle of this, but that's at my school and Frederick wasn't planning on doing a Minecraft pick pixel cat when he came home until one week ago at 4 a.m. I'm thinking about it right now and I'm realizing that the moment I finish this build, they're gonna request the dog next. I'm gonna have to make a wolf. <clears throat> it's okay, right? It's okay. You could also buy one. I know they make them out of cardboard online. You can do that. You can save your entire day by doing that. Okay, tail is done. Here's what I'm working with. Next, I'm gonna do the base. So it's a five by seven but, and I'm going to make sure that it's flat on the ground because this one is not. Good job, Frederick. Already, here we go, multitask. Bam. Bam! As I suspected, these blocks aren't perfect and I'm not gluing them perfectly too. So some of them are a little bit crooked. It's okay though, that's normal. I'm used to failure now. You can interpret that how you want. If you want to prevent that, you could try to make the base beforehand and fit which ones are best, you know, get the best cubes from the bunch. But that's just asking for it to take even longer. Remember, you have to glue 551 of these cubes together. It's not gonna be perfect. You're gonna have to give something up. Oh, look how durable. Okay, I figured out the fastest way to do this. You do a small strip of glue. By small, I mean that much. Then you make sure that each cube has glue on two sides so that it sticks to both this corner and this corner. Rub off some of it and then place it the other way around. This is what you're going for, a five by seven block. So we have the base done. Now I wanna do the butt, which is just five by five. And then I have to proceed to make a bunch of stairs. Based on my screenshot, it looks like it's 10 flights of stairs to get the back of the cat. And I'm also making the inside hollow so I can save some cubes. But this is gonna take so long. I'm sensing it. My inner psyche is telling me that I'm gonna have a hard time. I'm gonna have a rough time tonight, but it's fine. I'm having so much fun. Aren't you? Tell me you're having fun so I feel better. So I have to build up all the four sides and... Uh, can I just do this off screen? Are y'all okay if I do that? Or can I just time lapse it all? Because I feel like this is going to take way too long. I just want to get it over with. You know when you're just like doing something tedious, you know it's not hard work, it's just busy work, like homework most of the time. I just want it to be done as fast as possible. So I might just do that right now. We might cue the time lapse. Actually, cue the, cue the anime time lapse. We are on day two of sanity decreasing. Here's the body of the cat. Here's the tail of the cat. From far away, looks good, right? She's ready to be painted, but close up. <laughs> Not too good. But the problem is, there's a lot of gaps. We all know by now these wooden blocks aren't perfect. I don't think I glued it correctly, so it looks like this part started expanding. It looks like this. They're not parallel, the sides. So that's why there's a big gap in between these. And I don't really know how to fix it now, because I was streaming at the time, and I was just like, the glue already sealed. Might as well get it over with. There's no going back now. So I asked my dad, and he happened to have some wood sealer. This is called Duron Towel Mat for paints and wall coverings, and he says it can work if it's something this small. I'm gonna trust his word, and I also have sandpaper now, so I think I'll be able to make it look a little bit more presentable. Plus, the whole thing's going to be black anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. I also have the legs done. It's a two by two by six block before they turn into diagonals, so they're going to be right here, basically. And I wanna do the head next, because I also messed that up. I miscounted how many staircases I needed, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight staircases, and they all go up by one, but the last two staircases go up by two. So this block should be here instead of here. I'm going to try to see if I can find blocks that fit inside this gap. I also forgot that for my wood glue, I usually just paint it on with a bad paintbrush that I don't like. Excuse me, you're kind of in the way. No, that was not me calling you fat. Don't take it personal. 
I've already ruined two paintbrushes, but these ones are not even good quality anyway, so I'm okay with ruining them. I don't want to glue the tail on yet because I know it'll just be in my way. And I was going to make the head separately, but I remember last time I did that with, which one was it? This thing, the two builds were aligned differently. So I'm just going to build it off of this. You can also do the dip method. You can double dip if you're into that. I know I said I would do different shades of black, but I don't think I want to do that anymore because I don't want to mix different shades. We might. We'll see how I'm feeling in like an hour because I know how long this is going to take still. Also a little tip when you're building the bridge, don't, don't do this. Please do not build from the sides in because then that's how you get those gaps in between. Just start on one side and build across, please. And one of my DIY filler things was to always put glue a whole layer on top. I did that and I think it actually worked. It did seal in some of those parts, but it's still bumpy. So I'm going to sandpaper still. And that's also why half of my glue bottle has been used up. I wanna start working on the legs. So I think while this part is drying, I'm gonna do the side. So the legs look something like that. I don't think you can mess this up. You literally just have to glue them to the side and they only protrude out by one because I don't wanna make it look too fat, you know? We want it to be a skinny cat. Now, this has already been painted with glue and it's dried, so I don't know how easy it's going to be for me to glue something onto glue. I hope it seals. I mean, that's that's all I can say. I, hope it, I just hope it works. I mean, it should, right? I need something to go right. Please just work. I wish I had a third hand. I just need one more hand to do this twice as fast. Can I just grow another appendage? Can I shoot it out of my chest? This is. This is gonna take too long. You know what's easier if I did this? I should do this. What am I doing? You can delete that comment. I know you were telling me to do that probably. <gasps> you good? Don't do that. No, no, no more. That was so homophobic of it. But at least you know it's sturdy. Cause nothing broke, right? Nothing broke? Oh fuck. I made it too thick. These cubes aren't meant to be here. Get off. Mm, no. Get off, maggot. Ooh, maybe that was a little too strong. Okay, progress gone. So to explain what happened, this must be a three by three block. The, like the, is this, is it the thigh? Is that the cat's thigh? I'm gonna say it is. And I added two extra blocks. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I hope you all don't mind that I didn't film everything. I streamed it onto Twitch instead. So people there saw it, but it just, it wasn't entertaining gluing a whole body. I didn't mess up too much. I'd rather you see the different steps that comes after. I was supposed to go back to New York today, but I, I ended up staying here just because I wanted to finish this. I don't want to carry all these wooden blocks with me. This thing is heavy, actually. Ironically, it's heavy. It weighs much more than a regular cat. I'm going to work on the other side of the leg now, and I'm going to remember to not do too many blocks. You got this, Frederick. I also think that the wood glue does adhere to wood glue itself. But once again, just don't seal your build with wood glue. Get wood filler. It's worth it. Not even wood filler. You can get like gesso, I think, or just some type of, just some filler. I can't believe I didn't think about it the first time I built these. The fact that I know I could have fixed Michael here. Yes, you're imperfect because of me. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll make an updated version one day. I don't know. Actually, I take that back. I never want to make that be again. I think I lost a bit of my soul in that build. Part of my soul went into you, Michael. You're welcome. This is going by a little bit faster. Instead of doing each one individually, I'm just lining them up in threes and then gluing it on. I'm just trying to make sure you all have a pleasant time making these builds because I get DM sometimes and y'all are like mad at me because you said, Frederick, this is much harder than you thought. I'm just trying to set you all up for success because I know you want to try this out and I've seen your DMs. You are all crazy to do this. And it just seems as though each time my builds get bigger and bigger and they cost more blocks than usual. This is 500. You were around 300. Minecraft Rose was 200. What's next? A thousand? What, what could be a thousand? Don't even try to suggest Ender Dragon. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna need five people for that. And that's where the Minecraft YouTube collab comes in. Just kidding. I'm not friends with any of them. I don't know. They don't know me either. This is like the worst puzzle I've ever had. Oh my god, you're joking. I literally just glued these together and it's already sticking. Get it together. What? How fast does glue work? Maggot. I'm about to cause an earthquake. I can't work with this. They're not aligned right. They're diagonal. What the fuck? I will pry you out of there. You're coming out. <laughs> okay, you win. Don't underestimate wood glue. That happened in literally one minute. I don't like knowing I lost to two blocks. I don't like knowing I lost to this. Part of me feels like if I do this, I'm going to break this or it's going to 
break my glasses. Okay, so I finished the cat legs. Basically, I did two by two squares each time on each side and let it dry. I aligned them first so that everything will look a little bit flat and looks pretty good. We're starting to get a body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. I just cringe each time I look at the back, it's so bad. So you can see the two staircases that are a little bit flatter. The head is a five by five block and it goes three blocks higher than the last staircase. So it's gonna start right there. We need a good foundation. I'm gonna start right here. You might wanna take this slowly because you don't want the blocks to fall down. If you have a grip, that would help. I don't have a grip though. So I'm just gonna let it dry for a second before I keep building. Realizing the best step is to glue the last three down first. That way I don't have to build on top of each one and then glue this right here. And that's where the cat head will be. That looks so right. This looks the perfect the perfect size of a cat. <laughs> as much as I want to name it Diesel, if you're wondering why my cat was named that in the first place, we literally drove by a gas station. My sister says, that's a cute name. It's Diesel now. It is a cute name, but <laughs> it'll come to me once I make it, once I can see its eyes. Same idea, we're gonna build the bridge across. Okay, I have my base down. Now we're just going to keep stacking. It's looking a little nasty, but it's fine. I'm talented. I'm brilliant. I can do this. That looks pretty good. It's pretty flat on this side. Now five blocks this way. Now this is really important. I have to make sure that these are very straight before I put it on there. I'm going to glue it down first like this, and then I'm going to attach it. <gasps> okay, homophobia. Oh, this looks so perfect. This is great. Everything is lining correctly. I can't wait for it to ruin when I tried to build across. It seems that every time I go this way, it gets worse. So I'm thinking we do this side and then connect it this way. Also, if you really want to be cute, you can like hide a bell in here because it's hollow and then you could jingle. <gasps> I should have given it a collar. Ooh, I might give it a collar. Okay, the sun has started to set so... Let me do that real quick. The cat looks pretty good, except that big ass gap right there. Yeah, I don't know how to fix that. So you're gonna deal with it. My thought process is I'll fill it in with the filler thing and it's going to work. Now, as for the top and bottom of the head, it's still empty. So I need to give it a brain. I've already done a three by three cube and I'm just going to carefully place it. It's also surrounded by glue, so this better work. I'm just going to let it sit there for a little bit. We're basically almost there. It wasn't that hard to make. I'm just hoping that this filler works because if it doesn't, well, this cat's gonna look a little bit messed up. It's okay, you'll match with this one over here. As for the legs, they're gonna be right here and we're going to just connect it to the body eventually. I'm on my next bag of wooden blocks, so we're starting to run low. I did have some fails, so I'm praying I didn't waste over 50 blocks because then that would be, whoo, mm, that would be tilting. Glue bottles getting empty too, just everything is getting down to the wire. What's next, I run out of paint? <laughs> Mm, I regret saying that. I don't want to jinx. Don't jinx myself. Knock on wood, knock on wood. This one has also been doused in glue. So now we're going to go under. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Get it? Perfect. While that's drying, I'm going to work on this part. So we need to connect them right here. I'm going to take the prettiest looking side and make it face towards me. And the ugly side can face the back. Now I gotta make cat ears. It's just two blocks on top like this. No way I can mess that up, right? So if I do this very carefully, no, 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 no. You need to, I don't even think this part is gluing. This is what the cat looks like now. I need to protrude it, the mouth. So it's six blocks that protrude out. That's a cat. It's so cool. Oh no. I, I messed up. Um, okay, first fail. Well, probably like third now. The cat's head is not a five by five block. It's a five by four by five block. This has too much space. It should, it's too high. There's no way to fix that. Mm. Well, I don't want to fix it. I probably could if I really thought about breaking this thing apart. I think if I just do this, I mean, it'll just be like a fatter head. It's not too bad. Why didn't I double check? Stupid, 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 stupid. You know what? It's okay though, because I can fix this. It's chest is hollow, I need to fill that in now. And yes, I know that leg did not connect at all. Don't remind me. Okay, so I made a collar, it's right here. We're making a yellow collar, who am I kidding? And now all I have to do is do this leg. 
that, that didn't want to stick. Maybe I finish this one first, actually. The, let's work on the successful one. I'm thinking something along the lines of this would be nice. I'm excited because we're almost done. And I'm really curious about this sandpaper thing. I've seen people do it on TikTok and I always thought, hmm, can't relate, but now I can. Final step. Wow, we only have 20 extra because I messed up a lot. So you have to be very confident with yourself when you're making this and just double check. You, you don't be impatient like me. Take your time, please. Oh my God, it won't stick. This, this look is being so troublesome. I'm just gonna wait. So this is the extent of the sander that my dad has. I don't know how I'm going to get in between all these things, but I'm going to try my best. I'm gonna go outside and do it, obviously. So I'm just gonna record some vlogs. In case you wanted to get a good look at how inaccurate I was, this is how how bad it was okay here's your close-up we got mistakes all around here all over the back side I don't know how we're gonna fix this man so I guess we just start sanding oh I want to put that down oh no yes no good I am so out of breath I did this for literally 30 minutes first of all this broke okay I ripped it in half this fell off the arm, the glue is still wet, so I'm gonna have to re-glue that again. There's sawdust all over me. Do you see how dirty that is? I inhaled a lot of it too, and I can tell because my nostrils are on fire. And while this does look much better, it's still not perfect, it's nowhere near close. The inconsistencies are way too high, and I'm just going to have to live with it because I'm done, okay, I'm, I'm done. If I wasn't in the good place, because I know I would be, this is my personal hell. This is just, Everything about it is not perfect, and I know it's not perfect, and I know I can't fix it, which is just terrible for someone like me. Compared to the bee, this is like perfect, okay? This is so different. I'm gonna glue on the tail for what it's worth, and then we're going to put filler in. Bam, it's a fucking cat. Let me give you a world tour of what it looks like. I'm gonna have to buy more sandpaper. Uh, does anyone have, like, do you know of any sandpaper that just works like instantly work like something that just literally files it down i need an electric sandpaper machine if you find one on amazon please link it because i i really need it if i want to do this again and i'm scared to do it again i know where i go wrong i know wooden blocks aren't perfect but i didn't think it'd be this bad i don't know how they do it on tiktok honestly they're just built differently literally they're built differently they don't look like this oh my god this is so this paint thing, never used it before. I'm gonna start off on the back. All right, I'm gonna turn this for you so you can see what I'm about to do. You know what? No, <laughs> I don't wanna risk this. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. Oh my God, this thing barely squeezes out. What the hell? It's like a thick coat of paint. My dad gave me this tool. I don't know how much this is gonna be useful. Oh, well that totally fills it in, except this is so much. I'm gonna have to like really get in here and make sure to flatten this. I should have done this before. I should have done this first step. Nope, I'm gonna have to file again. Oh no, I'm gonna have to file again. Okay, maybe I can work with it. That's actually pretty smooth. And it's not drying yet, so I can work around with it. Now these gaps are still pretty small. I don't know about this gap or like that gap. That might be a little difficult for this maybe it does work oh <gasps> wait that's so good it's actually pog ew i said that ew i just said that word all right i think i'm done i guess i can sandpaper it a little bit just to make sure everything is dried now my hands are everything is ruined i know i said i would do different shades of black no not again Never. And the Minecraft cat itself actually isn't that. So technically I'm being more realistic if I just paint it all black. But I wanna paint the eyes and some parts white because I know that brighter colors lay better on it. So it has green eyes. If I paint it green right now, it will be a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna paint the parts that should not be black first. Finally, we get to painting after all these years. Let me do something risque. Maybe we can make this look smooth. Have at it. Oh my God. Am I treating glue as a condiment now? Maybe. We're just giving it a good douse. It's fine, y'all, trust me. It'll just make things more secure. It's not gonna fall apart. What are you so worried about? I can see you all screaming at the camera right now. I've done this before with the bee and it worked. I've already done it on the cat too for the body and it worked. So I don't need you to tell me that I'm wrong. I'm gonna let this dry for like a year. I'll see you all in 2022. But I can already see that it's starting to dry and it looks like it 
didn't even have glue on it. I'm telling you, wood glue is like a DIY wood filler. I know some people said you can use sawdust and wood glue to make wood filler. I wasn't gonna collect my sawdust, okay? But I'm gonna try and save these brushes and I will see you all in a few hours once this is done. This has fully dried now, so I'm gonna work on the white first. Anything, oh God, I already got white on my cardigan. Anything that isn't black, I'm going to first paint white. And then while that's drying, I'm gonna work on the black because 90% of this is black. So main things that stand out is the ears, not the whole ear, just one side. Eyes, mouth, feet, paws, that's about it, I think. This is gonna need two layers, so I'm glad I did this first. Oh my God, this weighs like 20 pounds. This is like a workout right here. I'm trying to paint the inside of the cat so it's like I gotta get a good angle and you're gonna need a lot of paint this wood soaks it up unless you did my amazing technique of wood glue also it turns out the thing that my dad gave me isn't plaster it's called caulk and I was like caulk <laughs> I actually asked Joey about my technique because he majors in architecture so we actually he actually knows how to do this stuff he's used my wooden blocks for one of his projects before and I asked him is it trolling for me to just slather this in wood glue and he said no while it's not the most ideal method, it doesn't not work. And I am proof that it doesn't not work. But he also said the thing I used to fill in the gaps isn't meant to fill in gaps. It's actually an adhesive and it literally says adhesive on the packaging and I didn't even pay attention. And it's meant for tile. So ideally I should buy plaster next time or just buy wood filler, Frederick. Maybe that's a good idea. Okay, my hands are actually getting tired so i'm gonna have to set you down it's gonna make an imprint on my table i already know it it's fine this table's been ruined by me multiple times already she's went through a lot <laughs> also if you just paint a really thick layer of paint it also fills in the gaps getting in the crevices is quite hard like i can't get on inside there how do i get behind this cat's leg maybe i should have i don't know painted it first frederick what an interesting concept painting before you glue it's almost like i still believe you should paint before you glue and i will forever think that way how do i get in there what so eyes are right here and you paint this whole thing white you don't have to make this perfectly white because you're still going to be putting another color underneath it now as for the feet y'all need to be bright white so please layer all right i'm gonna have to face it this way the tail's in the way the tail is like a wingspan now. While all the white layers are drying, I'm going to start on the black because this whole this whole thing needs to be black. But I do want to do the lighter colors before I add black to this area. How much of this is black, you say? I don't know, you tell me. We are just putting every type of sauce on top of this cat. But it's okay, because you're gonna look gorgeous. You're gonna need one layer of this, Max. Oh my God, oh, whoa, look at that. Look at how it just oozes down, like a slip and slide. And I can't believe I said I was going to do different colors of black. Who am I? Also, I can't even tell where the crevices went. I think all the black paint has seeped into every single crevice that is known on this back and has erased it. This is a lot of black though. I, I got a little too much. There's just so much black. I'm just gonna have to spread it around. All of this, this whole thing. I mean, you're looking fine. You're looking feline. Oh, Jesus. Gross. Let me just shut up. Surprisingly, I have yet to flick paint onto the white areas, but just be careful about that when you're just going all about like this. You could easily flick paint onto your own clothes and, oh, there's one on my shirt. And the entire table. This is a splash zone now. <gasps> the tail. <laughs> Miss ma'am. Are you kidding me? Okay, well that's actually useful because now I can actually paint underneath it. Perfect. It's okay. I'm not mad. We'll just glue you later. Okay, I have to repaint some of the black parts again because it got white on it because this table is so dirty. Okay, now it's time to make the different colors of the cat. First color we need are green eyes. I color match that almost perfectly, I think. Yeah, I know, weird flex. I really need to boost my confidence right now, so let me be. <laughs> I'm gonna fill in the lines more once I have all the colors I need. So I need pink next and then a dark gray. Look at these colors, man. <laughs> next up is a dark gray. My precision right now, off the charts. Like give me an award type of precision. Look at this. This is what I mean when I say you need patience to do this because if you mess up just a little bit like that, everything gets ruined. Okay, I've successfully done everything. Only thing left is the gray. It's a light gray down here. It's almost perfect. I just need to change the pink one more time because I got some gray on there. Oh no, I got some gray on that one too. Okay, I'm continuing to mess up, but it's fine. It's fixed. I'm done. 
Oh my god, I don't do anything anymore. Well, actually, I do, because I have to now get all the black around here and not mess up. Yo, my left hand just made the straightest line ever. Are you kidding me? I freaking hate life. I freaking hate this logic. This makes no sense. How is that even possible? Okay, okay, okay. I think we're good. We're almost done with the face because I have, I still need to get the white part and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna. The five by five head isn't too off-putting. Like realistically, it's fine. And I'm also accepting no criticism ever. We know where I am at mentally right now. If I hear any criticism, I will explode. I will continue battling with this until I die. That's perfect, that's perfect, that's perfect. Okay, how do you do this with your left hand? Homeboy was about to do this. Like, what is this doing? But with both of my hands, maybe homeboy's actually onto something. If I use both of my hands, I can make a perfect square. Boom. Two layers does not fit in, in my fantasy. Tell me why there are still <gasps> my black paintbrush just fell on my carpet. Are you kidding me? Hold on, there's an emergency. I need to clean something up before I get in trouble. Black paint, of all things to spill black paint. Crisis of burden. You on the other hand. <laughs> it's just not layering. I just want it to be over with. I know the more I go back and forth between these two, the more likely I'm going to make a mistake. I'm pretty sure I, I did the face. I think it's done. The last time I concentrated this much was during the Minecraft skull painting and oh my God, that time. We don't talk about it. Now all I have to do is paint on the yellow color. We're going to make, we're going to make a golden yellow color really quick. One drop of orange and a lot of yellow. Okay, I mean, it looks so cute, but I need to let it dry for a while if I want to put a second layer on. So in the meantime, I'm going to try to save these brushes because I forgot about them and they're already dry. How much more? How much more of this must I endure? We are almost at the finish line. I can do it. I can do this. I can do this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm done. I am freaking done with it. All I have to do, all I have to do <laughs> is just put on this stupid deal. I hope I have enough glue left. I know I used it all last time, but... Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Imagine I have no glue. Homophobia. So I'm just gonna wait for like another 30 minutes for this to fully dry and then we'll be fully done. Then I can finally, <laughs> can finally take a break. I know what to name you. You're also pretty big for a cat. Maybe I should have done one half of an inch for cubes. I don't know. Either way, this is now the biggest build I've ever made. I don't know what's gonna be bigger. Oh God, I'm just thinking of a life-size dog. I'm just thinking of a life-size dog. <laughs> Scoliosis check. Ooh. I'll see you all soon. All right, big guy, let's get you down. I don't know what to name it yet. <laughs> so can you let me know? Overall, I mean, this looks sick. Like actually, this is great. Let me give you a close up of just how amazing I did this. Like actually though, you can't tell me I didn't kill this. You see how perfect my boy's eyes are and his face? Do you know how much precision went into this? I didn't try too hard on Michael, sorry, Michael. I know I'm putting on blast all the time. I mean, block wise, yeah, yeah, it's a little bit off, but painting wise, this is the best I've done. In terms of the three projects I've done, the Minecraft Rose to the bee to the cat, this is my favorite yet, just because I, <laughs> I resonate with this. I mean, look at us, we're just sitting down. I mean, this looks so sad from an outsider's perspective, but I swear, like, I, it's not that I'm never gonna get a cat, it's like, I'm looking forward to getting a cat now. And it's gonna look exactly like this and they're gonna fight with each other. So welcome to the family. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, give it a like. Leave a comment down below about what other things you want me to make in the future. Let's expand out of Minecraft. Let's try to do something that won't kill me, okay? It can be like, how about Among Us? How about something with two colors? Seriously though, we can do anything. I have a lot of ideas in mind that I don't wanna share yet, but I'm excited to think about more things to add to this collection. Other than that, subscribe for more videos every time I have time to post, so turn on my notifications so you don't miss them. Follow my social medias because none of y'all do right here. Come on, I know you want to. And second channel, gaming channel, podcast channel. As always, I love you all and everything is less than three. All right, let's go back to New York now. <laughs> y'all really thought I was lying about that? No, I got a pack. So, I promised I'm back in New York. And it's 5.30 a.m., so, 
fan art of the week this week is to Ronnie. Thank you so much for this. It's now my Twitch profile picture. It's literally so good. I saw you do it on stream. Thank you for drawing it. I'm sorry I didn't say it during the video because I'm a dunce. Anyways, I'm going to sleep. Goodbye. <laughs>